Man, I'll tell you what, June has been a wet month. As you can tell by the grass, it's been raining. I just mowed this Sunday. And it's already Tuesday and it needs to be mowed again. <laughs> I've been spending all day fixing lawnmowers, taking them down to the pond, mowing around the pond, breaking the lawnmower, coming back, getting another lawnmower, getting it fixed, getting it running, take it down there and break it. Or run out of gas or whatever. Uh, I have five five lawn tractors the two big ones there's one in the shed over there there's there's another murray back behind there you can't see it and then the, the murray is the only one that's totally broken i can't get that engine running something's wrong with it uh and then i got a pooling craftsman pooling down there uh 20 horse single cylinder briggs it ain't got quite enough power to cut through that bahia pasture so let's go lucky you coming you coming come on come on lucky you want to stay outside you want to come in the house okay we'll stay outside watch you'll go around and scratch the front door <laughs> all right let's tie a fly i'm going to tie a dragonfly i've been threatening to do it for a while and now i'm going to do it i am going to do it i've got the pattern figured out in my brain and i'm gonna get cleaned up a little bit it's about 5 30. sounds like we're fixing to get some rain the wife won't be home until six or something yeah it's 5 25 that's what i thought oh that's a nice little cabinet i made that cabinet right there and that one and all those kitchen cabinets redid the bottoms that's what i do and then I'll make a mess like that and like this. I like messes. All right, let me wash my hands, get cleaned up just a little bit. This will take just a few minutes. I, I've, I've got the recipe in my head, so it shouldn't take too long to throw this thing together. And then we'll go down to the pond if the weather lets me. And we will see if we can catch a fish with it. See, there's what I'm going to use for the wings these feathers right here luckily the dragonflies here have blue bodies and dark wings with blue tips but these aren't going to have blue tips hope I got another two or three of those feathers I know I do I just don't know where they're at the cat likes to get in my stuff and drag it all away all right let me get cleaned up and get this thing rolling all right, I'm gonna start with a, it's a size 12. It's a very fine wire hook, but it's a fairly wide gap for a size 12. These are from Green Caddis Outfitters, about $2 a pack, and there's 25 in a pack, so less than 10 cents a piece. Cat, what are you doing? I don't know if I'm gonna do this with a cat in my lap or not. Mm -hmm. Thread up that hook real nice and pretty. Now, one thing I'll tell you right off the bat is this fly is different. Uh, the head of the fly is out the back of the hook on the. All right. First thing you do is you take a nice little quarter inch strip of craft foam go ahead and point the end and we strap this down to the hook and I want it to hang out the back quite a bit full size this is going to make the eyeballs which, I don't know if you looked at a dragonfly real close or not, but their whole head is eyeballs. I don't even know where their brain's at, because I don't see there's any room for it. Here you go, cat. Hop down. Okay, thank you very much. Alright, you get that done. Now, you need one of your black feathers. What if I got one that's not... Perfect for wings. Here's one. 
I just need a couple of wraps of this. This this makes the front legs. So we're going to tie this in. I'm not even going to palmer that. I'm just going to leave it like this. Trim that off. Pull these up. Squish them down to both sides and latch them down. There we go. All right. Now I need the tail material, and that is going to be old fly line. Let me. Here it is. Well, that didn't take too long. Dig through two boxes before before I found my fly line. All right. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, you got to tie this stuff on and have it come out the back. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is just do this. Here, here's what you do. You twist this, right? You twist it a bunch. Like I said, this is old fly line. This is the thick part of it. And you bind that together like this. I need a few more twists, so I'm going to have to open it up and twist it some more. See how it'll lay back on itself? Just like that. Alright. There's my tail. Now, you can tie to the hook if you choose to. You want to keep this mass up on top. And you want to go right about here. There we go. There we go. There's the tail section. I'm going to cut these two off. I think. I'm going to try. Alright, here we go, folks. We are going to make the head. Fold the foam over, let it stick out the front. Make sure these legs are down. Those legs aren't going to show up too much. And voila, there is the head. Is that the yeah, it is wifey. How about that? Okay. There you go. See what that looks like? That's the back of the fly. So much for a quiet house. Alright, can you see that? It'll look a lot better once. Oh look, I do have four of my perfect feathers here. I got four of these little black feathers. This is the uh, the toughest part of this tie is getting these wings to lay in here on an angle. They don't need to be particularly long, but you want them in an X pattern. Alright. Now this is the first one of these I've done in a while. And I'll tell you, this fly is likely to helicopter like nobody's business. I've done a better job before. Getting these things in position than this. I've also used plastic. Whoa, that did not work. That did not work as expected. Whoa. I'm going to 
throw these things forward a bunch. Cut off this excess. Oh, lucky cut it out. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to capture this right here. Oh, come on forward. Come on. There we go. Capture that one forward. He's going to look like a wounded one, let me tell you. Which I guess that's alright. Probably be a miracle if this thing works at all. Alright. And that is about it. I'm going to cut this off. completely covered the hook so we're going to be tying into the tail end of this thing all right I want to finish that off Broop, broop. trim it up a little see how those wings are swept forward going to fly through there I'm going to tie on to the tail so it's going to land in the water like this or like this it doesn't even matter it's going to land in the water now let's blue it up black but you can see the hook sticking right out the mouth it's going to look like the mouth all right now let's get this fly line blued up it's off camera now but that's all right i should have i should have done that stuff first i should have I should have colored the fly line before I tied it on there. That's alright. We'll see if they think it's a dragonfly. Gotta walk down there and get my mower anyway. Oh yeah. This ought to work. It's gonna fly through there with the greatest of ease, I'm sure. Look that. Let me see, I got a darker blue one here too. Let's see if we can't get a little more blue in here. Alright. It's all colored up now and ready for a test. Let me go ahead and give it some black eyeballs or some very dark blue eyeballs. Next I'm gonna do the whole head dark. This color will fade as soon as it gets wet, so it'll probably look better after it's gotten wet. There is one dragonfly. Now, I started with a very small hook, a number 12. I'm going to tie on to the end of that thing. So it's going to fly around upside down. It's going to land in the water. And the fish are going to jump all over it. Let's go see if it works, okay? Let's see. I think. Think it'll fool them? No? You don't think it'll fool them? What? Run from Lucky. He's not big enough. He's no kind of threat. The bull runs from him. <laughs> I've seen that little dog run both bulls in the pond. <laughs> All by himself. 
Oh lordy. That may not look like much, but that represents a lot of work. I've got to go over the new cut. The part I haven't cut yet. I have to go over it several times to, to get it down and mulch it up. This has all been done at least twice. I went all the way up around the trees over there. Camping area. Lucky, leave the dog. <laughs> he's a cow dog. Today, he's a cow dog. <laughs> oh, Lord. That is a big group of mama cows. Usually, that's pretty bad news for my little dog. Mama cows, they protect their calves. All right, well. Let's see how the dragonfly flies. Let's see if the fish agree or, or, or approve of its design. They are busy. They're up in the shallows because it's nice and cool. I forgot to bring my bungee cord. I was going to bring my bungee cord so it holds the camera still. Alright, what do we got? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I bet they jump on this thing. Ooh, this side's a little slimy. Yeah, that looks like a, it's got a good profile. Just barely floats. And this one doesn't appear as though it twists in flight. All right, let's get over here where it's clear. Boom. Come on, fishies. Don't make me wait all day. It's got the perfect profile. That looks like a dragonfly from here. See if I can zoom in on it. That thing laying there in the water like that, that looks like a dragonfly. Come on, fish. Hit it while I got your camera going. Right, there's a little bass, and there was one until Lucky scared it away cruising the edge. I saw it coming toward me. And then Lucky goes out there and scares it. Punk. Alright, let's see. Boom. I put it right on his head. I spooked that fish out of there. Need to check your fly often because that sometimes... Oh, look, there's a bass coming. Right in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Try it again, buddy. Try it again. Oh, this is so fun. Watching that fish move along that bank. Being able to drop it right on his head. He missed it, though. Maybe I can see him if I get up a little higher. Check my fly. I think I got some debris on it. Yeah, I sure do. Let's make sure the wings aren't tucked. It's already done that once. Yeah, we just got some debris on there. Alright, there we go. As soon as it hits the water, that those feathers spread right back out. They look real. Oh yeah, I finally got something to pick it up. It feels like a sunfish. I think it's a bass though. I think I just saw a bass. He didn't hesitate, whatever it was, whatever it is. That's a bass. On a dragonfly. Oh, a long distance release. All right. Success. I think I got it on camera. Lucky sure to see it. You saw it, didn't you? Where'd it go? <laughs> Dang it. I pulled one of my wings off. Now it's a three wing dragonfly. <laughs> well, I wonder if the rain's gonna do any good. Thinking about going over to the neighbor's pond and fishing. Those fish aren't quite as educated as these. They tend to like my flies. Hop in the ranger and head over there. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. There he is. There's my first. Come on, get him to hand. Keep him away from the dog. He took the dragonfly and I got him all the way in. Hold on, fish. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, fish. Hold on. Hey. God, dog it. Come on. Oh, well, there he goes. Okay, Lucky. Hey, hey, let go of that fish. Too bad. <laughs> that was a nice bass. I didn't want him killing it <laughs> or biting it. Well, it's starting to rain pretty good. Fish was way back in that shallow water. That's cool. That's a good enough test for this pond. A uh, three winged instead of four winged. I could always tie a, a wing back in there. All right, so that's not too bad. I had two fish that I nearly got to hand. You say that I gotta gotta work on anchoring the wings a little better. I mean, they're just feathers. I mean, they take a lot of abuse, but. I mean, that's that's from that's what's left after one fishing trip the fly line the foam's pretty tough and if you get the feathers in right they'll stick but i had probably wiggled that one too much pulled on it popped right out of there busted loose kind of see that hook in there let's go tie another one. Oh goodness it's still early i could go over to george's Go to the neighbor's place, see what I can catch. I can get my lawnmower started, I get to ride it back. Caught that fish out of that slimy spot. Yeah, I've done enough mowing. You know, it's the weirdest thing, but sitting on that lawnmower, sitting on the lawnmower, makes my knees hurt. <laughs> Only thing wrong with that lawnmower is it doesn't have a front cover. But the craftsman fits it. <laughs> I can get one if I wanted it. I might. That'll be a good one to mow the yard with. It's got some problems with the deck uh, leveling device. That that little cross arm that goes on both sides is, is busted loose. So it works fine if it's fixed in place. Let's see if this thing will start. And we'll head to the house.